Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann. A lot to look at in the forecast mm -hmm. this week, and a, an eclipse, the kind you can look at last night. Yes, Lisa. that's right. The lunar eclipse. There we go. I don't encourage people looking at the solar <laughs> yeah. eclipse, but with that clear sky last night, we had some viewers that sent in some fabulous photos. This is Megan Pazeshmere's photo. She's right here in Birmingham as the lunar eclipse started. And this is when it starts to take on that red hue. Michael had to go all the way to Virginia to send us this nice picture. And then Barry sent us the peak of the lunar eclipse last night. You see that bright red color of the moon. And this was right here in town in Mountain Brook. So some beautiful pictures, beautiful sky last night. And we're seeing a clear sky across central Alabama this evening. Temperatures in Summerton as we look live from our Storm Team Tower Cam, 34 degrees. Winds are calm at this hour. And dry air is in place. But that is going to change as rain is on tap within the next 48 hours. For tonight, though, dry as a bone. Temperatures already dropping. Look at Coleman, 30 degrees. We have 34 in Jasper, 41 in Tuscaloosa, mid 30s in the eastern half of the state. And it looks like our radar is going to be high and dry, at least for tonight. But we are tracking a developing system. Area of high pressure will keep us dry tonight and to until. Pressure begins tracking off to the east, kind of begins to break down just a little bit, and then an area of low pressure begins to move through the Great Plains, and that's what's going to bring us our next chance for rain. Let's talk about temperatures because there are going to be some big swings in the numbers between today and Wednesday. Overnight tonight, those temperatures will settle right around the freezing mark by daybreak tomorrow. You're looking at 32 degrees around 815, and then 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, back in the low 50s, still slightly south of. Of what I would call average for this time of year. So temperatures trending anywhere between about three to five degrees below average. But then we turn mild. Wednesday morning, temperatures hold in the 50s. And then we're into the low 60s by Wednesday afternoon. But notice what happens between about one o'clock to four o'clock. Cold air begins to move in because of that wet weather. 48 in Hamilton by 6 o'clock on Wednesday. And then that cold air takes, in, takes up over the state Wednesday night into Thursday. Let me quickly show you on our map when that rain is set to arrive. Again, dry tomorrow, clouds increasing. Few showers overnight, Wednesday night into early, or I should say into early Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday, we're looking at that rain beginning to move in early part of the day, continuing through the afternoon. And on the back side of that, that's when that cold air will be moving. And there could be a little changeover Wednesday night into Thursday morning. It's something we're keeping a close watch on, drying out Friday and Saturday, and then maybe some winter mischief on Sunday as well. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.